everyone time again and happy new year and today I'm gonna do my top 10 movies of 2017 so let's get started number 10 is I know I'm probably gonna get hate for this I know a lot of people hate this movie although I do know a lot of people that loved it and that's the 2017 Power Rangers I really loved it I did I enjoyed this movie I thought this movie was awesome it, yeah, I know the tone's uneven. I can't decide where to be dark or can't be, but I didn't care. I thought all the kids playing the Power Rangers did a really good job. Um, and Elizabeth Banks, of course. I know she looks a little hideous as Rita Repulsa, but I could still tell it's her under all that makeup. But, yeah. Number 10 is Power Rangers. Number nine is an animated movie that I actually just saw today, and that is Ferdinand. I thought this movie was pretty cute, honestly. Um, the animation was really well done. The acting was pretty good. John Cena, I personally don't like John Cena. I think he's a bad wrestler. I don't care about him, but he did good in this movie. Um, Kate McKinnon was in the movie. She was really funny. Um... And the other actors, Gina Rodriguez, Gabriel Iglesias, um, Anthony Anderson. A lot of talented people in this movie, but yeah. I thought this movie was pretty good. Number nine is Ferdinand. Number eight is, I know I'm not a huge Marvel Cinematic Universe fan, but I just had to put this on here. Thor Ragnarok. I had a lot of fun with this movie. I thought it was I thought it was really good though there are a lot of bright colors everywhere it's really colorful a lot of the action scenes were a lot of fun I <coughs> sorry I just love the look of the movie it was just really good so number eight is Thor Ragnarok number seven is an animated movie no it's not Coco Coco's not on the list I'm sorry but and it's Captain Underpants the first epic movie I grew up on the books when I was younger, and this movie was a real treat for me, and I just I just really liked it. It was a really faithful adaptation. I wish it would have done better at the box office, so number seven is Captain Underpants. Number six is the live-action Beauty and the Beast. I'm surprised this movie's getting hate now, because when it came out, people loved it. Now everyone's saying, oh, it sucks. Oh, it's just a shot-for-shot -shot remake. Well, why'd you go see it if you didn't want a remake? Well, yeah, I did really like this movie. It was really shot well in live action. It had a really talented cast. It's really good. So, number six is Beauty and the Beast. Number five is a movie I just saw recently, and that is Atomic Blonde. This movie was awesome. The director of this movie is David Leach. He's going to direct Deadpool 2, which I can't wait for next year. And this movie was awesome. Charlize Theron was awesome in this movie. I like Charlize Theron. She's a very beautiful woman. She's really awesome. She's an awesome actress. And James McAvoy was good. It's just a really good movie. So, yeah. Number four is my favorite anime movie of the year. Say what you want. Cars 3. Yep, I love Cars 3. It reminded me a lot of the first one. It felt... It was really heartwarming. Who said so the Cars movies don't have heart? Huh? Huh? They do have heart. This one did. But, yeah. It's a really emotional movie. It felt really good. And it was just really incredible. So, that number four is Cars 3. Number three is Star Wars The Last Jedi. I've been wanting to talk about this movie. I'll probably review it in January, but I loved this movie. It was even better than The Force Awakens. Um, I thought it was really amazing. Is it the best Star Wars movie? No. No. No, it's not. But it's still really good. It's amazing. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. I hope... I hope it does really. It's doing very well, so, yeah. Number two is, the. these next two are superhero movies. Number two is Logan. 
I loved Logan. This movie was very good. It's really sad seeing Hugh Jackman in his last performance as Wolverine, but he did well in this movie for his last role. This movie felt suited for him since it was about his retirement. I love how edgy this movie was. It's what Marvel Cinematic Universe movies should be. And it was really emotional to me. It was really sad. And it's just a really great movie. It's it's just it's not just violent to be violent. It's really emotional. It really gets you hard and it's just so great. Probably one of the best theater experiences I had in the longest time. So yeah. Gee, I wonder what number one is. There are two W's. Well, you all know. Number one is Wonder Woman. I love this movie so much. And I have all of them. This is how big of a fan of I was. I have all the figures. Yep, I really love this movie. This movie was so much better than freaking Guardians of the Galaxy 2, that garbage. But this movie was amazing. Justice League should have been better, but it didn't make the list because it was disappointing. But this movie was really good. Gal Gadot, she's a really strong, she plays a really strong, powerful, motivational, positive character. She's a beautiful lady. I love her. And I just love this movie so much. I wish I could show my Blu-ray that I got, but it's not here. I'm not at home right now. I'm on a trip, but I love this movie. I wish it would have made more money than Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I just love Wonder Woman. I can't wait for the sequel in 2019. It's going to be a real treat seeing it. It's not going to be in the summer, sadly, but oh well. I really love Gal Gadot, yeah, as Wonder Woman. Either way, she's just this movie was amazing. If you haven't seen it, you need to see it. You really need to see it now. You have to. No joke. Just watch it now. That's how much I loved it. So, Those are my... Uh... Yeah, enough with the praise on Wonder Woman. Those are my top 10 movies of 2017. And see you in 2018.